Hi there and welcome to this lesson. I'm still looking at analytical geometry, tangents to circles. And in this lesson, I'm looking at an example of finding a tangent to a circle. So what we have here is a question saying, find the equation of the tangent line, y is equal to m, that just means the gradient of the tangent, x plus c to the circle. They've got our circle at the point 0.0. .0. Excellent. So they give us the point where it is tangent. That's really helpful. And uh, so let's go ahead and find our the equation of our tangent line. So in this equation, I need to get my the gradient of my tangent. I think it's probably going to be helpful if we just draw a rough sketch of, of a circle and then a tangent line at some point. Okay, wherever that is. And just put in all the values. So there's, there's my tangent line. Here's the point 0, 0.0. Here's my center. I need the equation for my center. So my center must be at x plus 3 equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 3 and y minus 4 equal to 0. That's y is equal to positive 4. So my center is negative 3 comma 4. That is my center. So what we do from here is just find the gradient of the radius first because once we have the gradient of the radius we can find the gradient of the tangent line so the gradient of the radius is equal to the change in the y values that is 4 minus 0 over the change in the x values that's negative 3 minus 0 so the gradient has a radius of negative 4 over 3 Okay, the next value to find is the gradient of my tangent. So we literally, all we do is flip this value around, that's three over four, and give it the opposite sign. This one's negative, this one is positive. Alternatively, you could have just substituted into the formula, the gradient of the radius times the gradient of the tangent is equal to negative one. Why? Because they are perpendicular. That is the property of all perpendicular uh, gradients. So, uh, and then if you substituted the radius in as negative 4 over 3 times gradient of tangent, that's exactly what you would have gotten. Multiply both sides with a 3, divide both sides with a negative 4, and you get the gradient of the tangent is 3 over 4, all positive. Okay. That being said, let's put in what we have so far. So, so far we have y is equal to 3 over 4x plus c. We still don't have the c value, but it is actually quite easy to find the c value because the point 0.0, .0 is a line on, is the, a point on the, the line. So in other words, if, um, if my x value is 0, my y value is 0. That means 0 is my c-intercept. So this line is just y is equal to 3 over 4x. But let's say you didn't notice that, then the process is still simple. All you could have done is said, okay, I substitute a point on the line. 0 is a point on the line. And I substitute a point on the line because I only have one parameter left to solve. So 0 is 3 over 4 x is also 0 plus c and then you see well c is just 0 itself as well when all of this simplifies it goes to 0 so y is equal to gradient times x and that is the equation of my tangent line to this given circle thank you very much for watching